the great thing about NPP is that it's continuing a, a long series of observations. Um, the OMS instrument is, is continuing the measurement of ozone, which has a long history from the 1970s. Um, the, the series instrument measuring the Earth's radiation budget, the same thing. It's measuring, and, and, and how that's is very, it's critical for climate change. VIRS and its measurements of the surface and clouds, these things are changing as our atmosphere changes and as our uses of the land. Um, all these processes are changing as climate changes. Um, Chris, uh, Chris, the infrared measurements, of course, as things warm up, you get more IR radiation to space. Um, as you put different gases into the atmosphere, or gases increase, uh, the IR changes. And in the microwave also, um, there are a lot of changes happening in our atmosphere. The NPP satellite will continue this series. It gives us real-time information, but allows us to see how our atmosphere and the planet are changing. There's a lot of interconnecting systems that all um, require measurements to try to understand. So if you're looking at the sea surface temperature, um, how does that relate to the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, which can then we measure with NPP, which then changes the weather, which then changes land use, which then changes the amount of dust or the greenness. So these are all connected things that we're trying to understand. So by making all of these individual measurements, that helps us get a sense of what the whole picture is. If we can provide very quick response to changes that are taking place on the surface, then these data become extremely useful for the operational community that are dealing with disasters or uh, major events. So for example, by monitoring the drought in different parts of the world, food aid can be allocated to relieve uh, famine and, and help people from, uh, from suffering because of shortages of food. Um, if there are major flooding events, um, we can give an indication of the extent of the flooding from the satellite. If these data are provided in near real time, um, within a few hours of, of satellite acquisition.